Hi folks, uh, thanks for joining me. I appreciate everyone that's uh, watched and followed the series on this Silvertone uh, radio from the early 1930s. Some 20 resistors uh, later, 15 caps, we're ready to get this thing fired up. And of course you guys have followed along a lot more work along the way other than the uh, basic components to get this thing in a position where we can uh, plug it in. One thing to note, all the uh, trimmer caps, these three, the other one on the front, as well as the uh, three sections of the tuning condenser, I've reset the uh, capacitance uh, back to where I found uh, the radio to be prior to the uh, beginning of the restoration itself. So I'm hopeful that uh, if no one had uh, monkeyed around in there, that uh, it's possible that the uh, RF alignment and IF alignment will be close. Time will tell. Uh, you'll see I've got some jumpers laid out here. I'll get those hooked up along with this meter, an additional meter. I've pulled the fuse out. Um, I'll probably put a couple jumpers across here so we can look at the uh, current consumption itself of the radio. We'll look at the B plus voltage and uh, we'll just listen for uh, audio out of the speaker should be uh, simple and easy. So uh, let me go ahead and get things configured. We'll come back and uh, flip on the Variac here and bring this thing up for the first time. I've made all the uh, connections that I uh, just talked about just a moment ago. This meter here to the right, my 27FM Fluke, I've got it hooked up here to the uh, B Plus supply. So it's connected across uh, C21 to ground. And then I've got my analog meter here looking at the uh, AC voltage uh, input, my line voltage, and I'm on the 250 scale just in case that's not showing up, and about halfway up here will be 125 volts. My uh, picture and picture that you're looking at here on my other fluke is uh, tied back to the fuse or across the fuse so we can look at the AC current. And uh, we'll reference this in uh, milliamps. So uh, let's go ahead and flip everything on. I've got the radio uh, power switch here turned on with the volume control wide open. So let's flip on the Variac and uh, I'll go ahead and bring everything up here to about 25 volts or so. And I'm just north of that and then we'll just keep an eye on everything. And you can see uh, nothing's happening here on the DC side, and I would expect that. And you can see the uh, current flow here, so that's a good sign. And we should see that uh, kind of increase and then drop back off. Okay, let's uh, come on up to uh, 50 volts. And I'm looking at this from an angle, so I'm going to be close to that. And if you're looking at uh, current here, and uh, we're looking here at the other meter, everything still looks uh, looks fairly good. And you can see the uh, capacitors and the rectifier starting to work, it looks like, and the capacitors to charge. You can see the uh, DC voltage uh, here starting to uh, increase ever so slightly. And another positive note here, you can see our current AC current is uh, steady. So that's really starting to uh, climb quicker than I would imagine. That's at uh, 50 volts AC line input. And you can see uh, about 0.15 amps or 148 milliamps of current. And you can see my uh, B plus now or DC voltage here that we're looking at is just north of my AC line input. Let's uh, go ahead and ramp this thing up here to about 75 volts, which would be about right here. Okay, we're at uh, 75 volts. And uh, you can definitely see the uh, current continuing to come up. Uh, just over 200 milliamps. And I look at the DC voltage, great sign there. Still no audio from the uh, speaker that I hear. Or maybe I did hear my first little bit of noise. 
I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but I'm starting to uh, hear that. Let me disconnect the uh, wire antenna. So that's a good sign. My uh, wire antenna is about 30 feet of wire just laying across the concrete floor. Should allow us to pick up some local stations though. B plus 107, and you can see about 0.23 amps or 233 milliamps at 75 volts. Let's go ahead and go up to uh, 100 volts. And at 100 volts, I would expect we should be able to uh, tune the uh, tuning condenser and see if there's any local stations here that we can pick up. And we definitely got some kind of noise, that's for sure. And I think I'm getting that from my antenna lead itself, because uh, you can hear when I disconnected, I can still faintly hear it. Let me turn the uh, volume down. Sounds like a dimmer switch or something. 126 volts, roughly, 125 and 296. Let's uh, tune through here with the tuning condenser and see if we can pick up something. It's still early in the morning, so I actually may pick up some DX stations. The count because of the impact that it reflects upon the team, players and the media would lose their mind, yet the now has that exact restriction on their own employees. Fascinating uh, little detail there. Wow, I tell you, that's one of the uh, local stations, and it is uh, blasting loud. So that sounds great. My suggestion was play the national anthem. Everybody who's on the field has to stand for the national anthem. But if you don't want to do that, then you can stay in the locker room. I think that would probably solve. Okay, let me turn that down just for a moment. Uh, we're back here to the uh, current and voltage. You can see it's uh, kind of plateaued and steady. And I'm um, just under 100 volts AC line input. Let me go ahead and go on up to uh, full voltage at about 120. So I'll just be right underneath the uh, center point here, just in case that's not showing up there in my video. Okay, I think I'm somewhere around 120, 121 volts um, in that area right now, based off what I see here, plus what I see on the Variac itself. And uh, you can see I'm just under uh, 0.36 amps, roughly, or 359 milliamps. And my DC uh, voltage here looks uh, nice and steady. Let's uh, turn this back up here and uh, just tune through the uh, radio real quick. I appreciate the call. Thanks for listening. That's Ronnie in Virginia. Let's go to Al down in New Orleans. Al, what's up, my man? Yeah, uh, a while back I was flipping. With their whole state. Well, the God this man in the New Testament. Brought to you by Town and Country Furniture. Suffer from insomnia, sleep apnea, or restlessness if you're taking. Most people go at it backwards. Okay, that's it. So uh, it was through the full range. I'll go ahead and continue to uh, keep an eye on B plus voltage, definitely the uh, current, because I've got the fuse out of the radio. And I'll provide maybe one more video and a touch on the RF alignment. And I had some questions about what size fuse I'll use as well. Let me make sure I don't uncover any other issues. But uh, very, very pleased here with the uh, first power up on this uh, Silvertone radio from the early 1930s. I appreciate you guys uh, following the uh, series along with me as well. Thanks again for watching.